and amen. So good morning, everyone. Parang tulog ah. Good morning po. Good morning to everyone. And are you excited to hear God's word again this morning? Amen. I'm also excited to be with you. I'm also excited to share with you God's word. At once more, pwede ba natin bigyan ng best clap offering ang ating Panginoon? Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Because we believe God's presence is in this place and we just want to celebrate it with the Lord today. And right now, babalik po tayo sa ating series. So, ito po yung ating series from July until September. At ano po ulit yung title ng ating series? So, wala, parang absent lahat last week. Ha? Ano po yung title ng ating series? Yon. So, the blueprint of worship. So, we're talking all about worship, worship from July to September. And I'm very much excited sa mga magpag-uusapan pa natin for the next months to come, the next weeks to come. At yun nga, sabi nga ni John Ray, magsa-second year anniversary na tayo. So who's excited for that? Amen. Sige nga po, palapakan natin si Lord for all those who are excited. So may mga special guests po tayo, especially for the second Sunday of September. We're gonna have an encounter and revival in God's presence. So just wait for further announcements. And today, ito po yung pag-uusapan natin. Our title for today is The Undignified Worship. So yan po yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon at ako po ay very much excited to preach to you God's Word. At alam niyo po, sino po dito ang mga mahilig sa celebration? Ayan po, may mga mahilig sa ce- celebration, especially pag ito yung ating birthday celebration. So sino po may mga birthday ngayong August? Pakitaas yung mga kamay. So happy birthday po sa lahat ng celebrants ng August, sa mga hindi po namin nabati from January to July. Happy birthday po sa inyo. At sa mga... Mga birthday po ng September to December, advance happy birthday po sa inyong lahat. So sige po, palakpakan niyo po yung bawat isa. So happy birthday sa buong family na ito. So during our birthday celebration, siguro po sa iba po, ito po yung mga pinakainaasahan natin na event, ang ating birthday celebration. Pero alam niyo po, nung ako po ay bata, uh, naalala ko po na ito po yung isa sa mga loneliest days ko of the year. Bakit po? Siguro may mga ibang makaka-relate sa akin dito. Bakit? Kasi on our birthday, ito usually nagkakaroon tayo ng mga mood swings. Bakit po meron tayong mga ex- expectation? In-expect ko na ito yung mga regalo na matatanggap ko. In-expect ko na ito yung magiging party ko. In-expect ko na ganito yung mga magiging experience ko. Kaya lang on our birthday, ano po nangyari? Hindi po nami-meet yung ating expectation. Kaya po on our birthday, sumasama po yung loob natin. And aside from that, minsan po dyan po yung mga unintentional na nagkakasamaan po ng loob sa family, nagkakaroon ng misunderstanding bilang magkakaaway, birthday na birthday mo pa naman. So nangyayari po yan sa aking buhay, nangyayari po sa aming family, kausap ko po si Tim kanina at nangyayari din sa kanya. So siguro po sa ating mga ibang ka churchmates sa atin, siguro yung ating birthday celebration, minsan ganun din yung nangyayari sa atin. Hindi natin na enjoy Kaya later on, pag nagpagdadating na naman yung ating birthday natin, parang wala na tayong pakialam. Kasi parang hindi natin na-experience yung fullness of our joy in our celebration. Sayang naman kasi in our birthday, syempre ang ginagawa po natin dyan is for us to celebrate. Di ba po? Yan po ang gusto natin mangyari. At alam po, as we celebrate, ito po yung time na gusto natin ma-experience yung fullness of joy. Yung pinaka-fullness of our joy in our lives. Kaya lang, yun nga po yung nangyayari na Sa araw po na ito, sa ating celebration, ba't ganun? Ba't laging incomplete ang ating feeling? Laging incomplete ang ating joy. At minsan, nangyayari nga po yun sa ating personal celebration. At minsan din po, as we celebrate on a Sunday, every Sunday is a celebration. Amen? Amen? Because God's goodness is in this place. and dito po ang ating Panginoon. And we celebrate. Kaya lang po, minsan po, as we come to church, ma-experience ma- natin ang, ang program po natin, ang presence Lord. Kaya lang minsan, paglabas natin, parang incomplete pa rin tayo. Parang hindi pa rin natin nararamdaman yung presence ni Lord. Parang kulang pa rin yung ating joy sa ating buhay. Kaya with that, dito po natin, dito po tayo dinadala ni Lord in Ezra chapter 3 verse 4. And it says here, Then in accordance with what is written, they celebrated the festival of the Bernacles with the required number of burnt offerings prescribed for each day. So right now, could we just bow our heads once again and let's pray. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God, God, we just invite your most Holy Spirit, Lord God, to be in our midst. We don't want to do this by might nor by power, but only by your Spirit. Lord God, we welcome you in this place, Lord God. It's only your presence, it's only your Spirit, Lord God, that we welcome here. 
And like, Lord God, we just allow you to move, Lord God. We forget about the outline. We forget about the program, Lord God. Lord Jesus Christ, interfere in our midst, Lord God, because we want every member in this family to experience you today. We love you so much, God. We claim the victory and we give you back all the glory and all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody shout, amen and amen. Sige po, let's give God our very best clap offering. <laughs> Hallelujah. At yun nga po yung sinaselebrate po nila this time. May sinaselebrate po sila Zerubbabel in, in Ezra chapter 3 verse 4. At yan po yung festival of the Bernacles. So this is a feast. At ano po ba tong feast na to? Sabi po sa pag-research ko, it's a joyous celebration of God's provision to the Israelites during their 40 years in the wilderness. Bakit po yung mga Israelites po, no, sa time po ni Moses, sila po ay paglabas po na lang ng Egypt, napunta po sila sa, science, sa wilderness, at sila po ay naligaw doon for 40 years. So hindi po nila alam yung tamang direction, hindi po sila makapunta sa promised land for 40 years. At sige nga po, na, nawala na nga po sila for 40 years, but in those 40 years, not a day po na pinabayaan sila ng Panginoon. God was faithful for them, and God provided all their needs. At yun po yung sineselebrate nila ngayon, the Feast of the Bernacles na sinamaan sila ng ating Panginoon. So it's a joyous feast. Kaya lang po, pag hindi po natin na, na, na bigay yung ating fullness of our joy, hindi po natin na celebrate yung God's presence, we miss a lot. Kapag hindi natin na-enjoy, hindi po tayo na-bless sa presence na Panginoon, parang kulang, parang incomplete, parang yung birthday natin, parang, parang hindi buo yung araw natin, we miss to celebrate God's presence. Parang ganito, pakitignan nga po kung ganito po yung itsura ng katabi natin ngayon. So, when everybody cried during the altar call, and you didn't. Diba po? So, parang ganyan yung na-experience natin. Baka last week, uh, sino po naka-experience ng presence ni Lord last week? Amen. So marami po naka-experience sa pang- ng Panginoon, umiiyak yung mga tao dito sa altar. Siguro po merong isang isang member tayo sa church na parang hindi ko naman na-feel si Lord. Parang hindi ko na-feel yung presence si Lord. but sila lahat umiiyak? Ako, hindi ako umiiyak. So siguro ganito po yung itsura natin. Pakitignan nga yung katabi mo kung ganyan yung itsura. So parang ang sama ng loob, di ba? Parang, ah, ba't ganun? Sila na, uh, lumalabas sa church na masaya. Bakit ako parang kulang yung joy sa life ko? At alam niyo po, na-experience ko po ito kasi nung ako po ay nasa COG Das Marinas, ako po ay under ng team ng mom ko. Siya po yung worship director noon. Siya po yung nag-worship lead sa COG Das Marinas. And every, every Thursday po kasi, yun, yung po, yun po yung aming rehearsal. So in a week, yan po yung rehearsal namin in preparation for Sunday. And after po namin mag-practice, after, after namin mag-rehearsal, magkakaroon po ng devotion. So isi-share yung word. After no sharing of yung word, kami po ay luluhod. We will pray. And we're just gonna experience the holy presence of God. So ako po yung, lagi po ako nandun, at nakikita ko po yung mga, yung mga band members ko, sila na po ay umiiyak. Yung mga singers, umiiyak na po sila lahat. Yung mami ko, umiiyak na rin. Lahat umiiyak. Pero ba't sabi ko, ako hindi, ba't hindi ako maiyak-iyak? So pinipilit ko umiyak kasi nainggit ako sa kanila na i-experience nila si Lord. Kaya lang matatapos na naman yung araw, matatapos na naman yung devotion namin na hindi ko na-experience, bakit ganun? So, ganyan-ganyan, naalala ko po yung aking itsura. Ganyan na ganyan yung aking itsura, talagang sama ng loob ko kasi gusto ko ma-experience si Lord, kaya lang, ba't ganun? Hindi ko ma-experience yung aking Panginoon. Kaya po, kapag yan po ang ating pinagdadaanan, yan po ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon, how do we fully celebrate God's presence? Gusto po ba natin ma-celebrate ang presensya ng Panginoon sa ating buhay? Amen. Yan po ang pag-uusapan natin, how do we celebrate God's presence? Number one, for us to really celebrate, fully celebrate God's presence, not hafted, but fully, number one is for us to uh, express our desperation. Pakisabi ngayon, express your desperation. So naalala ko ulit yung aking mommy, kasi nga siya yung aking uh, worship leader nung ako po ay tumutugtog ng drums sa COG Das Marinas. Every time po, kasi may laying of hands, di ba? Pinagpipray tayo ng mga leaders natin. Every time niya siya, siya po ay maglilay hands sa akin, ipagpipray niya po ko. Lagi niyang tinatanong, what are you crying for? What's in your heart? What are you desperate for? What are you asking from the Lord? So every time po natatanongin niyo sa akin, Parang lagi akong cut blank na hindi ko alam ano nga bang inihingi ko kay Lord. May hinihingi ba ako kay Lord? May iniiyak ba ako kay Lord? Ano ba yung nilalapit ko kay Lord? So dahil every time po natatanong niyo sa akin, wala po ako masagot. Ngayon po, wala po ako ma-express. Wala po laman yung puso ko na Lord, gusto ko yung presence mo. Lord, wala akong wala akong tinatanong, wala akong hinihingi kay Lord. Kaya hindi ko hindi ko masagot yung aking leader. 
sa sa kanyang pagpe-pray sa akin, what are you really crying for? At alam niyo po, yan din po yung tanong po sa atin ng ating Panginoon ngayon. Ano ba yung hugot mo? So, pangitanong ngayon katabi mo, may hugot ka ba? So, what is your hugot in our praise and worship? What is your hugot here in church? Kasi napapansin ko po sa mga church members na nandito, yung may mga hugot, yung may mga pinagdadaanan ngayon, sino po dito ay may mga pinagdadaanan sa buhay? So, yan po marami pong mga nagtaas ng kamay na may pinagdadaanan sa buhay. Yung may mga pinagdadaanan sa buhay, napapansin ko po na paglapit nila dito sa altar, dito po sa altar call natin, sila po talaga yung talagang nakikita natin umiiyak, talagang desperate. Ini-express po nila yung kanilang pinagdadaanan. At nakikita ko po every time after po nila ng altar call, makikita ko po yung joy sa kanilang buhay. Nagsa-celebrate sila. Kasi sila, kasi sila po yung naka-receive ng blessing ng Panginoon. Kasi may hugot sila eh. May pinagdadaanan po sila. So pag tayo may pinagdadaanan, inilapit natin kay Lord, in-express natin, wow, sasagutin pala tayo ng Panginoon at i-bless niya tayo. Amen po ba doon? Amen. So may mga nagbubulungan doon, ako yun, ako yun, ako yung may hugot. <laughs> so si David din po, babalik po tayo sa story ni David in 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 12. It says here, Now it was told King David saying, The Lord has blessed the house of Obed-Edom and all that belongs to him because of the ark of God. So yan po yung pinag-usapan po natin last week is the ark of God. Babalikan ko lang po yung story last week. Nung nilipat po kasi nila David yung ark of God papunta sa Jerusalem, nagkamali po sila, di ba? Namatay po si Uza. Kaya inilagay po muna nila yung ark of God sa Obed-Edom. At ang nangyari po, nung iniwan po nila yung Ark of God sa isang other city, hindi po nila dinala agad sa Jerusalem, pinagpala po yung lugar. Pinagpala po yung Obed-Edom. So si David, ito po yung kanyang sinabi. So David went and brought up the Ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom to the city of David with gladness. So gusto ni David yung blessing na yun. Ano ba yung hugot ni David sa Ark of God, sa Tabernacle of the Lord? So ito po yung hugot ni David. Number one, he's desperate for God's presence. Sino po dito ang desperate for God's presence? Ano yung worship team lang yung desperate ha? Sino dito gusto yung presensya ng Panginoon? Lahat ng gusto yung presensya ng Panginoon po malakpak ngayon sa ating Panginoon. Amen. So yun pala, lahat pala tayo gusto natin yung presence si Lord eh. And si David... He, he once committed a mistake. Mali yung pag-handle niya sa presence si Lord. Mali yung pag-handle niya sa Ark of God. And this time, itong hugot niya, I want God's presence this time in my life. I want God's presence na makasama ko sa aking boy. Nagkamali ako na minsan, pero this time, itatama ko na. Next po, anong hugot ni David? He wants the blessing. Sino po dito gusto ng blessing na Panginoon? Amen. Yeah, may mga sumasagot na. Praise God. So lahat tayo gusto natin ng blessing ng Panginoon. And si David, gusto rin niya ng blessing ng Panginoon. Why? Because David had so many wars. Kakat, kakalaban lang niya po sa Philistines. Kakapanalo lang niya po sa kaaway niya. He just got the victory. Kaya lang, hindi niya po ma-celebrate ng buong-buo. Kasi yung Ark of God, hindi niya kasama. Yung presence si Lord, hindi niya kasama. At hindi, pag hindi natin kasama yung presence si Lord, hindi natin ma-experience si Lord, hindi buo yung celebration natin. At gusto ni David, kailangan ko yung blessing ni Lord para makapag-celebrate na ako ng buong buo. And finally, he wants to bring it home. Yung blessing na nakamit niya, ayaw niya na pang sarili lang niya, ayaw niya sa pang team lang niya. Yung blessing ng Panginoon, gusto niya i-share sa kanyang sariling pamilya, gusto niya i-share sa kanyang sariling syudad, sa kanyang sariling city. At yan din po ang makakamit natin. This day, we're gonna receive God's blessing in our own home. Amen? Amen and amen. So what happened, nung nagkaroon na po siya ng access, kasi dinadala lang po ni David yung Ark of God from Obed-Edom to, to Jerusalem, nung nagkaroon po siya ng access sa presensya ng Panginoon, his heart was filled with gladness. Dahil ahat po na niyan ay nangyayari na may ginagawang maganda ang Panginoon, tinutulungan niyong Panginoon. Si David, sa pag-travel ng Ark of the Covenant, papunta sa, sa Jerusalem, his heart was filled with gladness. At sa ating buhay, may ginawa po bang maganda ang Panginoon sa inyong buhay? Amen. Kung may ginawang maganda ang Panginoon sa inyong buhay, pwede ba natin ibigay yung best clap offering natin para sa Panginoon? Amen and amen. Bakit? Kasi may ginawang maganda ang Panginoon para sa atin. And when God has done something good to our lives, we want to express it. Gusto natin iparamdam, ipaalam sa Panginoon na Lord, 
natutuwa ako. I'm thankful for what you've done in our lives. At yan po ang ginawa ni David in 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 14. Dahil David's heart was full of gladness. David's heart was full of hugot. May pinagdadaanan si David. May iniiyak sa, sa Panginoon. At ngayon, he's on the process of getting what he wants from the Lord. Anong ginawa ni David? Paano niya inexpress ang kanyang joy, ang kanyang gladness? It says here, and David danced before the Lord with all his might, and David was wearing a linen ephod. So yan po ang ginawa ni David. Si David po ay hindi po pumalakpak lang ng ganyan, hindi po siya nagtaas lang ng kamay na ganyan. Si David po ay sumayaw ng ganito, ganito po ang itsura ni David. So yan po talaga yun. Almost naked na po si David na sumasayaw. Lahat po, thousands of people are looking at David at si David po ay sumasayaw ng ganyan. Para po siyang baliw na sumasayaw. And everyone was looking at David. He was dancing with all his might. So everything with all his God, hindi po siya nahihiya. Wala po siyang pakialam sa katabi niya. Wala siyang pakialam sa kung sino man makakakita sa kanya. He just gave his all-out worship. He just expressed his desperation for the Lord because he wants God's presence. At matutuwa po tayo kay David. Bakit? Si David po ay hindi po normal, normal employee lang. Si David po ay hindi po normal na human lang at that time. David was the king of Israel. So yung king of Israel, siya po yung tinitingala ng lahat. Lahat ng galaw niya ay pinagmamasdan. Bakit? He needs to be prim and proper because he's the king. Pero itong king na to, pag sumamba sa Panginoon, walang pakialam sa sino man nakakakita sa kanya. He's gonna give his best dance with all his might to the living God. Amen po ba dun? Amen. Kaya po sa atin po, tayo po, hindi naman tayo mga hari, hindi po tayo mga kings and queens na nandito. Di ba po dapat, karapat dapat lang ibigay din natin ang ating best dance sa ating Panginoon. Amen po ba dun? Parang ayaw niyong sumayaw ah. Amen. <laughs> Next time po, next Sunday, nawa po tayo po ay pag nag-praise and worship po yung praise and worship team next Sunday, mabigay din po natin yung best natin because God is deserving of our very best. Amen po ba dun? Amen and amen. And because of that, hindi lang po si David ang dapat magbigay ng kanyang worship. It's not only the king, it's not only the lead, leader who needs to give his best worship. Kailangan pala tayong lahat din ay kasama. So how do we fully celebrate God's presence? Number two, worship requires your participation. So pakisa, pakitapik ngayon katabi mo, mag-participate ka daw. So itapikin mo ulit, huwag ka matulog. Yan. So naalala ko po tuloy nung ako po ay, syempre nandun po ako sa, ano pa, nasa Dasmarinas din po. So, syempre nung bata po ako, every time po nakasama ko yung aking parents, lagi po nila akong sinasaway to behave. Kasi po, Pastor yung dad ko, kailangan maayos ako gumalaw, kailangan prim and proper ako gumalaw every time kasama ko sila. E, Siyempre may kalikutan din po ako nung bata, ngayon po hindi na lang po masyadong halata. So lagi po nila akong sinusuhay, to be quiet, kapag may bisita, maging maayos yung galaw ko. At alam niyo po yung, yung mga ganung bagay pala, ay nadala ko pala ngayon na nasa leadership na ako. Every time nakasama ko sila, syempre, ako po ay leader na po ng youth dati doon. So pag nakikita ko po sila, bigla po akong napapatrigger na parang kailangan ko mag-behave. Ganun po yung nangyayari sa akin, napapatrigger, may trigger sa akin, kailangan ko mag-behave kapag sila po ay, pag nandyan po yung aking parents. At sa pag-trigger po ng behave na yun, nahihirapan tuloy ako mag-express. Nahihirapan tuloy ako mag-participate to gather people at all those things. So may trigger na behave. At minsan po, pag tayo po ay nandito po sa simbahan, specifically at COG Marriott Manila, minsan nagtitrigger din sa atin na mag-behave. Siguro napapansin natin, ay, nasa hotel ako. Kailangan poise yung galaw ko. Kailangan pag pumasok ako sa church, dapat hindi ako masyadong parang baliw kasi baka nakakahiya. May mga, may mga guests sa hotel. Kailangan maayos yung suot ko. Dapat ganyan to lahat-lahat. So nagtitrigger na pag nag-worship tayo, sakto lang, di ba? Pag sumayaw tayo, ganun lang, di ba? Okay na yan. Kasi baka nasa hotel tayo, natitrigger na dapat postura ka, dapat poise ka. Pero ako po naniniwala kapag ibibigay natin yung worship natin sa Panginoon, dapat walang makakapigil sa atin. Amen? Amen? Dahil may ginawang maganda ang Panginoon sa ating buhay. God has done great things and amazing things in our lives and our hearts is full of gladness. Our hearts is full of joy. Our hearts is full of worship. Dapat ibigay din natin ang ating best sa ating Panginoon. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Sige po, let's give God our very best clap offering. At nawa po, yan po ang maset nating worship. Yan po ang maset nating worship culture in Church of God, Marriott, Manila. This, this four corners of this room, the people outside the hotel, no one could stop us 
to worship and praise our living God. Amen? Amen and amen. At alam po nangyari po dito, so ganun nga po nangyari sa life ni David in verse 15. It says here, So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of trumpet. So nung nagsasasayaw po sila doon, si, si, hindi lang po yun si David. But ano po sabi dito, all the house of Israel, all the nation was shouting, all of them are playing instruments, all of them were singing, and they were giving their very best praise, praise and worship for our God. At nawa po ganyan din po ang mangyari sa atin ngayon. Amen po ba dun? Amen. Kaya po ngayon meron po tayong short activity. At ngayon po ang gagawin po natin, ibabanggitin po natin. Hindi lang po natin ibabanggitin, pero isisigaw po natin yung mga attributes ng ating Panginoon. So Tim, pakilabas po yung attributes of our God. So kilala po ba natin kung sino yung ating Panginoon? So ito po ay mga alphabet. At sa letter A, yan po ang ating Panginoon. He is awesome. He is alive. He is almighty. He is the alpha. He is all in all. He is all-knowing. Naniniwala po ba kayo dyan? Amen. Kaya po ngayon, ang gagawin po natin ay tayo po ay magpa-participate. So pwede ko po ba ma-invite po ang lahat po ay tumayo ngayon? Sige po, tayo po ay lahat ay tumayo. At ang gagawin lang po natin, ito po yung attributes ng ating Panginoon. Attributes meaning this is who our God is. At sa mga attributes po na yan, ang gagawin po natin ay isisigaw po natin yan with all our might, with our everything, simula po sa letter A hanggang sa letter C hanggang sa matapos po tayo. Amen po ba doon? Pwede po ba natin itry? Sige po, isisigaw po natin yung A kagad, awesome, alive, and so on and so forth. Are you ready? Maybe one, two, three, go! Chief Cornerstone. Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. So bago tayo mag-proceed, hindi lang natin isisigaw. Pero this time, isigaw natin with all our hearts, with all our feelings, with all our emotions, with everything that we've got, that we are really believing in it, That's, that, that, uh, that is our God. Amen? So ituloy po natin yan sa letter D. One, two, three, go! Deliver! Forgiving, Father, faithful, fortress, fair, grand, gracious, giving, glorious, good, gospel, gate, holy, helper, hope, honorable, holy one, head of the church, high priest, I am, incredible, irresistible, Emmanuel, just, Jesus, jealous, just, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, kind, King of kings, Lord of lords, loving, lamb, light, life, living water, lion of Judah, merciful, magnificent, marvelous, maker, mighty, meditate, Messiah, master, majesty, never fails, overcomer, omnipotent, Omniscient, Omega, Omnipre. Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. Parang nasa harap na lang yung sumisigaw eh. Pwede ba hanggang likod sumigaw? Amen ba doon? Amen. So one, two, three, go! Precious, perfect, priest of peace, praiseworthy, patient, pursuing, powerful, redeemer, refuge, rock, resurrection and the life, ruler, reason, restorer, savior, strength, Stronghold, servant, shepherd, son of man, selfless, trustworthy, power, truth, teacher, unchanging, unstoppable, unlimited, victor, valiant, vine, wonderful, warrior, worthy, wise, way, extraordinary, Yahweh, Yeshua, zealous. We just give God our very best clap offering. Pwede ba natin bigay ba yung best clap offering for our God? Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We may now be seated. And that's who our God is. So, 
Hindi na kayo maubusan. A to Z. Ang alphabet natin, to praise and worship our living God. At yan ang, yan ang Diyos na ating pinapapurihan. Hindi yan yung Diyos na kung sino-sino lang. Yan ang Diyos natin. He's our Savior. He's our Omega. He's the Alpha. He's all in all. He's our everything. He's our Deliverer. He's zealous. That's who our God is. At sabi nga po sa training sa Worship 101, the size of your praise is determined by the size of your God. Kung ang pagkakakilala po natin sa Panginoon ay maliit lang, ganito lang ating Diyos. Kung ang pagkakakilala natin sa ating Diyos ay kaya lang niya tayo providean bukas, next week hindi niya na tayo providean, ganun lang din yung praise natin. Pero kung naniniwala tayo dun sa mga sinigaw natin kanina, the attributes of God, that's who our God is. If that's who we believe our God is, ganun din kalaki ang ating praise sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Sige po, bigyan po natin ulit ng palakpak ang ating Panginoon. And in what way pa ba natin mapapapurihan ng ating Panginoon? In what way could we express and participate in praise and worshiping our God? Siyempre, ito po yung mga spiritual forms in expressing our praise and worship. We could do it through clapping of our hands. That's what we do. In the morning, we praise and worship our God. We give our very best clap offering. We dance for the Lord. Tulad po ng ginawa ni David, kaya po tayo may mga dancers po dito. Hindi po sila nandyan just to entertain us and just for display. They're there to set the atmosphere of worship. Yun ang ginawa nila David. That's what we're gonna do as well. We're not gonna be shy. We're gonna give our shouts. Tulad po ng ginawa natin kanina, we shouted the attributes of our God. That's who our God is. And we lift up our hands. Di ba po yan po ginagawa natin and as we praise and worship, we lift up our hands and we kneel down. That's how we get to express our praise and worship. That's how we get to participate in praise and, and worshiping in our God. Kaya po, baka po mapapatanong din po tayo, isa pong gusto po pong i-point out dyan, why do we lift up our hands? Siguro po, yung katabi natin ay nagtaas ng kamay. Gayahin ko din siya. Baka, baka yun yung requirement dito sa church, kailangan ko magtaas ng kamay. Pero, naintindihan ba talaga natin? Why do we need to raise up our hands to the Lord. At ang sabi po dito in Psalm 63 verse 4, it says here, Thus, I will bless you while I live. I will bless my Maker. I will bless my God. I will bless the Almighty. As long as I live, I will lift up my hands in your name. Bakit po ba tayo nagtataas ng kamay? Why? Because this is how we participate in our main purpose. The Creator the heavenly creator created us to worship his holy name. Amen po ba dun? That's what we're created here for. And as we lift up our hands, yun po yung pag-take part natin. Gusto ko papurihan ang aking Panginoon with everything that I've got. Ano po ibig sabihin ng lift up my hands? In Hebrew, it means yada. It means to throw. At alam mo kaya po pag sa, sa secular, bakit po ba tinataas yung kamay pag may nang huli? Because it's the heaven, uh, this is the universal term of surrender. This is why we raise up our hands, it's surrender. And as we raise up our hands to God, it's our surrendering of our lives. Lord, marami akong pinagdadaanan ngayon, marami akong hugot ngayon, maraming, marami akong problema ngayon, and all, this is all who I am, all my victories, all my losses, I throw it all to you. I give it all to you as my worship to you. And as we, as we raise up our hands, as we extend our hands, this is our way of extending our thank you to the Lord. Why? Because God has done so many miraculous things in our life. Amen? God has done so many great things in our lives and we want to extend our things. Kaya po natin tinataas, Lord, thank you, Lord God, for all that you've done in our lives. And as we raise up our hands, it is our confession of how great our God is. We confess, Lord, you are great. This is who you are. You are our everything. Amen po ba nun? Amen. And gusto ko po dito, we're about to end here and I'd like to call the pianist to come here on stage. And last Sunday, di ba po, sino po nandito last Sunday? Ayan po, may mga dahil pong present last Sunday. And did you feel God's presence last Sunday? Sino po naka-experience ng presence ni Lord? Taas po natin yung kamay natin. Yeah, let's extend our hands to the Lord. And for all those who, I was here, and ako po naniniwala that this church could do more for the Lord. Amen po ba doon? This church could have a deeper worship unto the Lord. 
Mahal, because I know every one of us right here, tayo po yung may kanyang-kanyang pinagdadaanan. At kita ng Panginoon yan. Kita ng Panginoon ang yung brokenness. Kita ng Panginoon ang yung heartaches. Kita ng Panginoon ang yung gladness sa yung puso. Kita ng Panginoon yan. And yung puso na yan, maganda i-express natin sa Panginoon yan. Siguro last week, na-feel din po natin yan. Parang pigil pa yung worship ko. Parang hindi ko pa nabigay yung all in all ko. Parang hindi ko pa nailuhod lahat. Parang hindi ko pa naiyak lahat. Parang hindi ko pa naitaas lahat. Pero this time, pwede natin gawin yun para sa ating Panginoon. Or siguro last week, masyado tayo naging conscious sa katabi natin. Baka dati hindi naman niya ako nakikita nagtaas, nagtataas ng kamay. Ngayon nakikita niya na ako magtaas ng kamay. Baba ko muna unti. Siguro masyado tayo na conscious. Pero ano po bang sinasabi? So next part of the story in 2 Samuel chapter 6 verse 20. It says here, then David returned to bless his household. Bakit po kasi si David, taramdaman niya yung presence ni Lord. Nagkaroon siya ng joy, nagkaroon siya ng gladness and he celebrated it in front of God with all his heart. At yung blessing po na yon na i-share niya po yun sa sarili niya, na i-share niya po yun sa army niya, na share niya po yun sa bansang Israel. At yung blessing po na yon ay niyang wala yung sarili niyang pamilya. Gusto niya dalhin din in his own home. Kaya po, ito po yung pagdating niya po sa bahay, ito po yung sumalubong sa kanya. And Michal, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David, ang kanyang asawa, and said, How glorious was the king of Israel today! Uncovering himself today in the eyes of the maids of his servants, as one of the base fellows, shamelessly uncovers himself. So medyo naging sarcastic po yung kanyang asawa. Sa tingin mo, glorious ka sa ginagawa mo. Tignan mo, nagbaliw-baliwan ka sa kalsada, kitang-kita ka ng lahat ng tao, sayaw-sayaw ka, half-naked, ba't ganyan ang ginagawa mo? Hindi mo ba alam na ikaw yung hari ng Israel? Hindi mo ba alam na ako ang asawa mo, apektado ako sa yung ginagawa? So, ito po yung ginawa ng kanyang asawa. Michal despised David in, his, in her heart. Kinitisize niya, ano yan, ba't ganyan yung worship mo? Dapat simple lang. Ba't mo ibigay lahat? Yan po ang, 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 ang sinabi ng kanyang asawa. At sa ginawa po niya na yan, hindi po niya namalayan na may paparating na blessing sa buhay niya. Yun yung dala ni David pag uwi niya. So sa ginawa niya, paano niyang itinaboy? Sino away yung blessing niya? Bakit? Masyado siyang conscious sa sarili niya. Masyado siyang conscious sa sasabihin ng tao sa kanilang worship ng kanilang pamilya. At sa ginawa po niyan, na yan, abante po tayo na onte sa verse 23. Ano pong nangyari sa taong ganito po? Ano pong nangyari sa kanya? Therefore, Michal, the daughter of Saul, had no children to the day of her death. Wow! Sama po na naging kapalaran niya. Sa masyadong pagiging conscious sa sarili. Okay na sa sarili, pero nasyado naging conscious sa kanyang worship para sa Panginoon. Imbis na blessing ang pumasok sa kanyang tahanan, papasok na eh. Papasok na yung blessing sa buhay ni Mikal and sa future generation, napaltan po ng curse. Hindi na po siya nagkaanak till the day of her death. Nawa po, hindi po yan ang maging storya po ng ating buhay. Kung hindi, maging storya po kung ano nangyari kay David. Who? gave His undignified worship to the Lord. That's how we celebrate God's presence, fully celebrate. Let's give our undignified worship. Ano po ba ibig sabihin nun? In verse 21, it says, So David said to Michal, It was before the Lord. Itong pagiging undignified ko, itong pagiging mukhang baliw ko, itong pagsasayaw ko with all my might, wala akong pakilam sa mga kapaligiran ko. That's undignified worship. At sabi niya, Ginawa ko yan hindi para sa tao. Hindi ko yan ginawa para maging glorious ako sa mga katabi ko. Ginawa ko yan because it was before the Lord. The God who saved me. The God who gave me the victory. The God who gave me peace. The God who was my comforter. The God who saved me from all my mess. The God who restored me. Kaya ganito ako magpuri kasi yan yung Diyos ko eh. Kaya ako ganito parang wala na akong pakialam kasi yan yung Diyos na pinapapurihan ko. It was before the Lord who chose me instead of your father 
and all his house to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord over Israel. Ano sabi niya? Therefore, I will play music before the Lord. You could not stop my worship. You could not stop my praise. Ipagpapatuloy ko ang aking praise and worship sa aking Panginoon. Walang makakapigil sa akin. At di pa po siya nagtapos dun in verse 22. And I will be even more undignified than this and will be humble in my own sight. Sabi niya, wala akong pakialam. It's okay for me to be undignified. Sige, pagtawanan ako ng mga katabi ko, wala akong pakialam. The more I will humble myself and bow down to the ground and worship the one true living God. At yan po nakakatuwa sa hari po na ito. Hari po yan ng Israel. Pero hindi po siya conscious sa tao. Mas conscious siya sa Panginoon. So kung, sa, kung ano ang tingin ng Panginoon sa kanyang worship. At true enough, na-receive niya ang blessing ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Could we just give God our very best clap offering? At yung blessing na yun, gusto rin ba natin matanggap sa ating buhay? Amen. Okay? So I, here are the things that we could participate in expressing our worship. At alam niyo po, nakakatuwa kasi every Sunday, ginagawa po natin yan. Nakakatuwa kasi every Sunday, we're given the privilege to praise and worship our God. Alam niyo po bang meron dito? What is it with celebrating God's goodness? I would like to focus here on kneeling down. Ano po bang ibig sabihin ng kneeling down? In Hebrew, it means barak. At ang ibig sabihin po ng barak is to kneel. At pag tayo po ay nasa ganitong setting, nasa gathering tayo, nasa fellowship tayo, nakakahiyang lumuhod. Daming nakatingin eh. Ba't ako luluhod kay Lord? Baka anong sabihin nila, anong ginagawa ko, nakaluhod ako sa sahig. Tsaka ang dumi-dumi ng sahig, ba't ako luluhod dyan? What's the importance of kneeling down? Pero little did we know, ganitong undignified worship pala ang hinahanap ni Lord para makamit natin ng blessing sa ating buhay. Bakit? Kasi isa pang meaning ng barak is blessed. It means blessing. At ang blessing daw is like a rain. Na pag umulan yung blessing, hindi mo maiiwasan. Amen? Pag inulan ka ng pagpapala ng Panginoon, ang gagawin mo nang tatanggipin mo na lang. At ang, ang blessing din daw po ay parang arrow na pag pinirs yung puso natin, pinirs yung buhay natin, tagus-tagusan. Pag tinamaan ako ng blessing, ramdam ko yung blessing, hindi lang ako yung makakaramdam, tatagus po yan pati sa ating pamilya, pati sa ating simbahan. Amen? At ang blessing daw po is like a teacher. The teacher that molds us. Pag natanggap po natin yung blessing, may natututunan po tayo. Nagiging good stewards po tayo of the blessing. And finally, this is my favorite part, ang blessing daw po is like a kneeling camel. At may imagine natin na yan po yung ating Panginoon. Like a kneeling camel na lumuluhod para ibigay yung blessing para sa atin. Yan daw po ang blessing. Yan po daw ang barak. Bakit? Kasi akala natin tayo yung desperado sa blessing. Akala natin tayo, Lord, bigay mo yung blessing sa akin. Hindi natin alam na si Lord mas excited pala na i-bless ka. Mas excited siya ibigay yung pagpapala sa yung buhay, pagpapala sa yung pamilya. At inaantay lang niya na tayo ay lumuhod sa kanya to kneel down. At si Lord ibababa din yung blessing sa ating buhay. As the worship team comes here in front, Do you want another chance to give your undignified worship to the Lord? Gusto po ba natin yun? Gusto po ba natin ng another, another chance to praise and worship our God? Amen. Gusto natin magpuri sa Panginoon. Siguro last week, nabitin tayo. Siguro last week, hindi natin nabigay yung best. Siguro last week, parang pigil na pigil tayo para papurihan ng Panginoon. But you know what? I have good news for you. Today, is your another chance to praise and worship our God. Today is another chance to receive the blessing of 
the Lord in your life. And if that's you, if you want another chance to receive the blessing of the Lord, to worship the Lord today, I invite you to come to the altar of the Lord. Pwede ba natin iluhod yan sa Panginoon at papurihan ang pangalan ng ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. That's you. You're welcome to come here at the altar. And let's praise and worship our God. Hallelujah. Yes, you may come now. We come and worship today. Hallelujah. You, we Praise the worship team leads us. There's nothing bad to bowing down. You could kneel down to the Lord today. Yes, you may kneel down. Sige, luhod natin yan sa Panginoon. Kung ano yung pinagdadaanan. Kung ano yung iniiyak. Kung kailangan mahiya sa katabi mo. Yes, you may kneel down. You may kneel down before the Lord. Yes, you may kneel down. Hallelujah. Cry out your word. Bow down to the Lord today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kneel down to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Kneel down to God and worship. Hallelujah.
desperation. God, I want to experience you. Come on.
Jesus. Cry out in the name of Jesus.
you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Show me your glory. Hallelujah, God Almighty. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Show me your glory. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Our Lord Jesus, with our hands lifted high to you, Lord. We mga sarili kami hugot panginoon para sa amin sarili. We mga sarili kami iniyak, Lord God, para sa amin pamilya. And Lord, may inihingi kami, Lord God, para sa amin simbahan. May iniyak kami, Lord God, for this home, Lord God, for this church. Lord God, we want your presence. For we don't want to do this by might nor by power, but only by your spirit. Only by your spirit. Because whatever we do, Lord God, if you're not with us, it's useless. But if you're with us, Lord God, who could be against us? No one, nothing, Lord God, could be against us. And as we lift up our hands to you, Lord God, as our act of surrender, we extend it to you, Lord God, hands held high, Lord God, and we worship you. We surrender to you our dreams. We surrender to you our desires. We surrender to you, Lord God, our needs, our wants. We surrender to you our life, Lord God, our church, our home, Lord. All that we cry out for, Lord God, we surrender to you, Lord God. And we raise up our hands, Lord God, in worship, Lord God, for you are a great God. You're a King of kings, Lord of lords, Emmanuel, Savior, our comforter, our deliverer, our best friend, Lord God. You're our everything. You're the Alpha. You're the Omega. You're the Prince of Peace. You're our healer. You're our teacher. And here we are, Lord God, in worship and praising your holy name. And Lord God, we desire for your blessing, Lord God, to enter our lives right now. Enter, Lord God, our families right now. Enter this church right now. And we will never be the same again. Hallelujah, Lord God. Fire us up. Bring back the passion in our hearts. Fuel us, Lord God. And change us, Lord, from glory to glory. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. And Lord God, thank you, Lord God, for your wonderful presence. Lord God, thank you, Lord God, for visiting us today. And Lord God, we're thankful, Lord God, for our worship is growing deeper and deeper each day. Every Sunday, Lord God, our worship, Lord God, it becomes closer to you, Lord. And with that, Lord God, our lives, Lord God, are also changed for the better. Hallelujah. Lord God, thank you, Holy Spirit, for visiting us today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Guys, we just give God our very best clap offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.